Hello everyone, welcome to Verilog tutorial. In this video, let's see half adder. Let's write the Verilog code for that and also the test bench. And let us simulate using a simulator to see the waveforms also. So in the previous video, I have already explained half adder. If you have not understood half adder, you will get a link at the top right corner of this video. You can click on that and go learn half adder. Come back and learn the Verilog coding for this. So let us get into the coding. So any Verilog code will be start with the keyword module. And here I am going to give the name of the module as half underscore adder. And within the brackets we need to specify the input and output ports of this adder. Let me take inputs as A comma B and output is sum and carry sum comma carry. So these are my input and output ports. So I need to define this A, B, sum, carry as input and output separately. So we need to use the keyword input and we need to declare A comma B are inputs and similarly keyword output for sum and carry, sum comma carry. And after the input and output declaration, now I need to write the logic for the half adder functionality. So here I am using data flow description. So assign and let me write for the expression for sum. So sum is equal to axr b. axr b gives the sum. Similarly assign carry is equal to a and b. So and symbol and then b. So only sum and carry are the outputs here. We have defined the functionality of sum and carry. So the code end with end module. So this is what the half adder functionality we are going to define in Verilog. Let me write the test bench for this. So that test bench gives the input for this half adder DUT. We are going to call this as the design under test or we call it as DUT. Now let me write the test bench for this. So I am just writing the comment here. This is half adder DUT. Okay, under this I am going to write the half adder test bench test bench code. Okay, again a test bench code start with a module keyword and then let me give the name of this half adder underscore TB. I am going to give the name as half underscore TB. And this there are no ports in the test bench. Test bench will not be containing any ports. But we need to define the input and output ports of the DUT as wire and register here. So inputs becomes registers here. Register A comma B. And outputs become wire, wire, sum comma carry. And now after the input and output declaration ports as reg and wire here, we need to instantiate our DUT. So use this name half adder as it is over here. So half underscore adder is the module name which we are having. We are testing this. So half adder. Then let me give the name as DUT or whatever you want you can give the name for that instance. And now I am going to connect the input A of DUT with the variable which I have declared it as reg that is again A. Then I am going to connect B of DUT and within the brackets I am going to write the reg which I am defined here. Similarly dot sum which is corresponds to DUT and within the bracket I am going to write the declaration in the test bench. Similarly dot carry corresponds to wire carry in my test bench. So this is how we need to write the instance of the DUT which I am which we are going to verify. And below that we need to start giving the input values for the input variables what we have. So start with initial begin and here I am going to give the value for A as A is equal to 1 tick B 0. A is equal to 1 tick B 0 corresponds to I am assigning a 1 bit value 
that is binary which is 0 for a similarly for b i am going to assign b is equal to 1 tick b let me give it as 0 first case is 0 0 so after some delay let me give it as some 100 time units after 100 time units of delay I am giving the next values for A as 1 tick B 0 and I am giving B at that instance as B is equal to 1 tick B 1. So now this case is for 0 1. After 100 nanoseconds you will be getting the values for 0 1. Again I am giving some delay A is equal to 1 tick B 1 and then b is equal to 1 tick b 0 this is for 1 0 case similarly after 100 time units i am going to give a is equal to 1 tick b 1 and b also equal to 1 tick b 1 this is 1 1 case so i have defined all the cases I have initialized with 0 0 and then 0 1 then 1 0 and 1 1. So this is my end of this initial block. This begin block is going to be ended over here. And then after this we can end module. But to display the values of a, b and someone carry in the console or we call it as a transcript window or log window we need to use initial begin a monitor statement i am going to use dollar monitor you can also use dollar display if you want so let me discuss dollar monitor and dollar display difference in other video so just i am using dollar monitor here and then here i am going to first write dollar time this give you the simulation time it is for displaying the values so then I am going to write it as A is equal to percentage B. It is going to fetch the value of the first variable I am going to write. And then comma B is equal to percentage B. Similarly sum is equal to percentage B. And then carry is equal to percentage B. So then after this should be within the double quote since it is a string from here okay after this string i need to give the variable names a and then it need to fetch with b and then sum and then carry this is for displaying the string and it is going to fetch this value of a and put it over here and similarly this b value will be put it over here for b so that is how this monitor statement will work for displaying the values in the console and I am going to end this and then end module. This is the end of my test bench code. So now let me take this DUT and this test bench code and run it in a simulator and let us see what actually the waveform we are going to get. Okay, here I am using EDA playground. This is an online platform you can use. Here, here I am choosing the tools and simulator as you can see here I Verilog very lot point 9.7 is the simulator I am using you can also use other simulators and I am enabling this EP wave after run so it will pop up the waveform okay here is my DUT this is design.sv here it is taking SV extension because of system very lot. no need to worry about that you can also choose Verilog here if it is there. So the system Verilog bar Verilog. So it is taking SV. No need to worry about that. So this is my DUT design and this is my test bench which I have written and just I am pasting over here. And this extra lines, these two extra lines 21 and 22 required for waveform. So dump file dump.vcd dollar dump vars required for generating waveform in this tool so no need to worry about this also so let me run this 
okay you can see here this is the waveform we are getting okay so you can see here through this dem file uh, we are going to get the output this is the time 0 100 200 300 400 is the simulation time duration and here you can see a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 sum is equal to 0 carry is 0 for 0 0 we are getting sum 0 carry 0 similarly for 0 1 sum is 1 and carry is 0 1 0 carry is 1 sorry sum is 1 carry 0 similarly for 1 1 sum 0 carry 1 here I am giving one more delay and giving again a0, b0. So it is giving sum 0, carry 0. So this is what we are printing here in the log by using this monitor statement. Okay. Even if you skip writing this monitor statement, this waveform you can see. You can see this waveform, but it will not display that values in the log file. That's it. So here you can observe from 0 to 100 time minutes, we have given. 0 0 as a b you can see here it is uh, taken multiple times don't worry just look at a b carry and sum 0 0 and from here we are given 0 1 as a b carry is 0 sum is 1 similarly here for a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 carry is 0 sum is 1 and here for 1 1 we are getting carry 1 and sum 0 this is what the simulation output for this half adder so this is using data flow description assign statements are going to be used while writing the code in data flow description you can also use a primitives means we call it as a gate level description code by using gate primitives that is other than writing carry is equal to a and b in the gate level description we are going to write it as a and d and is a keyword for and gate since here we will be having a and b i am using and and let me give the instance name as a1 so within the bracket i am going to write the output first so it is going to generate carry comma a comma b so this is how we need to replace this data flow statement by a and gate primitive suppose if you want to write it in gate level description similarly i am going to comment it out and I am going to use XOR gate, XOR, let me give it as A2 and this gives the sum, we need to write the output first and then I need to pass the inputs, semicolon. So let me save this and the test bench will be same for this code also. So let me run again, let me close this. Okay, again you can see the output will be correct. Again for 1 1 we are getting carry 1, 1 0 will be 0 1 carry 0 sum 1, for 0 1 also carry 0 sum 1, for 0 0 we are getting 0. Also you can verify here what is the output for 0 0, it is 0 0, for 0 1 it is 1 0, for 1 0 it is 1 0 again, for 1 1 it is sum is 0, carry is 1. Okay, this is about half adder. In the next video, let us see full adder. Thank you.